Welcome to Euro Sea Sucks, the weekly podcast where we review and critique the best and the worst fan-created original characters from the My Little Pony fan. This show is unscripted and unfiltered, so moderate language will be used. As well, this show can be a little heavy on the critique at times. That being said, if you are easily offended, don't watch. If not, feel free to join us for this week's show. This is episode 25 for August 22nd, 2014. This week we are looking at some harmonious ponies with the help of our special guest. My name is Mummified Thunderbirds. I am the host and show manager. I am joined by Commander Sparkle, Assistant Project Manager. Uh, Soren wants pie, and I am filling in. And let me stop right here because somebody put a dumb joke in this intro speech about pie filling, and I'm saving you fans from scripted bullshit. You're welcome. Anyway, I'm filling in for Medi, and I'm gathering questions and doing viewer interaction this week. And I'm Smooth Sailing, and I'm the editor. Awesome. Uh, and this week, like I said, we have a very special guest, since it's Musician Ponies this week. We figured we'd grab a, a musician from the fandom. We are introducing... Hi, I'm Richard Branston, CEO of Virgin Records. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, this week, we're, we actually have Tarby on. Very happy to have him on. Yes. Yes, I, I am, in fact, Tarby. At least that, that's what the psychiatrist tells me. <laughs> he's t- he's technically a reoccurring guest. Am I? Well, oh yeah, now I am. Oh, what is this? The fifth <laughs> yeah. time you've recorded this fucking episode? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think it, 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 no, would, it's like a seven. I'd probably kill myself. Yeah, I would I'd be like, no, I'm sorry, we're, we're done. To, if to it was be up to, five. to be truthful, this is only the second try recording this one. Let's talk about fan art real quick, and before we move on, to anything else in the show. Uh, what was your guys, like, some of your favorite fan art this week? Uh, I think my favorite from this week, like, is probably, uh, the Strawberry Skittles, uh, piece, because, oh my god, the style is just so adorable. I am just, I'm so, so cute. It's just, oh my god. Soren, uh, while you were gone for a couple of the weeks when you weren't our relief pitcher, dude, awesome guy, uh, you got some also, some fan art as well, didn't you? Yes, I did. I received a piece from McWolfity, and it is of, um, it was kind of in the armor set that she was, or she, I believe it's a she. Yes. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Yes, okay. She, Pretty much all of our fans are she. Yeah, yeah she's cute. Like 47%. She, um, she says that um, she had actually referenced one of my pictures that I had drawn where I drew myself, where my character originally came from, from an RP with Commander Medi Smooth. And, um, well, anyway, so basically I drew my character in his natural habitat doing character things, and then McWolfity probably saw that, and she decided to draw it, and I was very happy. Um, yeah, it's like the only piece of fan art I've received personally, or just for me, uh, other than another one done by, uh, remind me, it's Santum 11, right? 145. Okay, Santum 145 did the group picture with uh, all of you guys, and then Zoe and I, and I was pretty happy because I hadn't really gotten anything. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to them. Uh, thank you for making me fan art. Yeah. Also, uh, Smooth can suck it because Mick Wol- Mick Wolfity called me a wonderful soul, and I think he's pretty jealous about that. And that makes <coughs> me that makes me happy. Smooth. <coughs> Mick Wolfity, why? Other than that, uh, Solix Yoshi uh, finally put out a piece about uh, calling me out about saying that wrestling is fake, along with uh, something that I like that uh, Ali Flindor did for Smooth, where they did the uh, listen Smooth pick. I think that's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Pretty cute. And, then, pretty cute. and, uh, and uh, Miles Tails Prower 99 did like, I don't know, like six pieces of fan art this week. Oh my god. Uh, why don't we talk about uh, Tarby's OC real quick? Uh, oh god, why? The just well brief shows about after a while of putting out music and stuff like that, I was goaded and coaxed into making a YouTube channel to finally upload my shit off of SoundCloud and wanted a mascot of sorts, like an icon. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily something that was me, not a pony Sona, but an OC. And because I was sort of, again, coaxed into it by friends, I, I, I was really not in 
any desire to make something that was in any way pleasant. So, so I, I sat at the Pony Creator 1.0, I believe at this point it was, and made the gaudiest looking fucking pony I could make. It was blood red, huge, had the spikiest hair I could find in the fucking presets, it had white stripes in the hair, and its cutie mark was Octavia's fucking G-Clef cutie mark with a lightning bolt through it. Oh, and it had bracelets and scars and shit like that, and it was a unicorn, uh, and super it was- Ugh, right. unicorns, it was, it was, like, gross. So fucking great. It, it was, it's literally just a beefy, scar-covered fucking recolor of Rainbow Dash. That, that's it. Like, that is my OC. I started getting, you know, people didn't hate the OC, they kind of warmed up to it. And, as time passed on, I, you know, I started warming up to it, I started you know, really sort of using it as a representation of the character that I was singing as through my music. Not necessarily me, but sort of like uh, the front man of this non-existent band that everyone assumed I was. As I got each success, like, succeeding picture, I would adopt things from each one. Like, for example, the original one was covered in scars, the next one was just, you know, a basic cover, the colored one that looked sort of edgy, and I was like, okay, I'll stick with that, it's less obtrusive. And as time went on, as I said, it became a girl, and then from there, the white stripes became pink, which is where the bacon mane ca thing came in from, unfortunately, which, by the way, as a note, my OC's name is not bacon mane. I don't know where that started, but it what? stuck, and it sucks. But, no, my OC's mm -hmm. name is actually Tritone, so... And don't you act fucking surprised. We've had this conversation, like, three times, Mummified. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> it's true, we had it before the episode last week, uh -huh. during the episode last week, and then it now. I'm trying to, uh -huh. like... You mean two days ago? <laughs> I'm just, uh, <laughs> Trying to keep... I'm sorry! Uh, I'm scripted, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's not ball is not ball. <laughs> that is actually not Super Omega Baller yet. Because I, I had no idea what an OC reference was, and because I thought it was really freaking cool, all the ideas that people were throwing at me with the OC, you know, it's I would adopt things from it, like past pictures, and a, someone came up to me and was like, "Hey, you know, can I? Can, do you have an OC? I want to draw it." I would, you know, send them like two pictures and be like, "Yeah, um, I don't have a ref, but you know, if you can include the elements of this picture with the elements of this one, and just like, you know, run with artistic liberty like it's a five k race, then you know, we'll have a good evening. It'll be great." So, uh, that was great. It's always great to hear about anybody's uh, OC stories, whether it's long, short, tiny, no description, something you actually have to pull out of someone and be like, what do you want from me? It's this. What is it? You know. But it's always great I, I to hear. I love how it was like long and then nothing, 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 nothing. Well, either way. No in-between mo no, I mean, nothing? yeah, sure, medium's always nice, but that's too, that's a, that's a middle ground that doesn't really even freaking matter. But You're a min-maxer? Moving on to the actual part of the show that everybody comes for every week, the thing we do, the thing uh, the thing that our show is based off of, and that's the OC review. So, we're going to roll the die of eight to figure out who gets to go first this week with the good OCs. Uh, once again, we are doing musician ponies, so seven, so that means... So, smooth. This is Mocha Song. Um, besides, besides the fact that she's incredibly cute, uh, she has a backstory. Yes. Uh, backstory is, um, her father, when, when she was young, time span of start of backstory, when she was young, uh, she hung out at her father's, uh, coffee shop for long periods of time because father owned coffee shop and was cool and fun and cool and fun. Um... Sometimes he had had musicians of probably many different kinds come in. Um, she got inspired by one um, and wanted to go into singing, especially since her mother was apparently very good at singing as well. She wanted to become a great musician also. Her father was like, but the family business. Okay, you can become a good singing musician too, I guess. Well, good luck. And he supported her, and she went off on her music way and... 
many years down the road, or maybe just a few. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I apologize. Uh, she came back, and coffee shop isn't doing too well because it's never like really had not a lot of revenue. So she was just like, "Wait, um, d hey, uh, Dad? Yeah, yeah uh, coffee shop's not doing too well. It's probably gonna close soon. No, um, no, 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 no. So she went out and um advertised a lot and uh played music and sang and was like, coffee shop's gonna be good. Everyone go coffee shop." played music, sang, and uh, everyone was like, yeah, yeah, I can come here more often. That's cool. And she got a dual talent cutie mark for loving the coffee shop and coffee shop stuff like, as well as singing and music stuff. Because dual talent makes sense together because of backstory. And I like. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to admit, I like it's hard to pull off good backstories for dual talent cutie marks, but I think that that's pretty well done. I mean, I don't really know how how you can really improve upon that, other than she was making coffee while she was singing. <laughs> okay, okay, that, sh sh Commander, sh stop talking. <laughs> but that's just dumb. Commander, stop talking, please. It's it's pretty great, OC. Um. The little dots and the color, they remind me of a deer. Um, I don't like the eye color. That's about the only thing here besides the outline on the brown. It seems a little dark to me, but I mean, uh, you could kind of go either way yeah. with it. Um, yeah. And and um, the horn seems a little big again. Yeah, but um, the mane, I kind of like this very subtle gradient that's in the mane. And um, that's just oh, me, yeah. though. Like, it's a very subtle, but it works for me. I really like it, so uh, that's about all I got. I love the fact that the stroke outside of the uh, on the outside changes whenever it changes to the lighter color. That shows a lot of dedication to the um, uh, medium. And normally some people just do the same stroke regardless of the actual fill color changing through the pony. But I always like it whenever somebody does it like this. Also... I love that her hooves look like little uh, black and white two-tone uh, dress shoes. They look like little tiny tap shoes. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Freaking adorable. See, I, I can't, I can't look at it without thinking of the phrase "gonna give him the old razzle dazzle." <laughs> but like, okay, so I actually, um, I have uh, two issues with this OC. Um, personally, one, I. I have gotten mildly annoyed of the fact that every single OC that has to do with coffee is several types of brown. Like, I, I mean, I get why it's just, it, yeah. it's a personal gripe sort of thing. It's like every single one, there's no variation of that whatsoever. But, um, but and the I get brown coffee. is so I, good. I do. Her color palette is so good. <laughs> um, and the second thing is, uh, uh, it's, I'm just I'm gonna ignore the dots on the uh, cause I'm not a big fan of the dots. Out outside of that, it, it's a nicely designed character. I mean, the horn is impressively large. I mean, like I've been staring at it for five minutes, open mouthed and drooling. But um, yeah, no, it's 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 a pretty cute, well done character that looks shamelessly like a deer. I like the OC design. I mean, it's. It is an ador adorable OC, and the backstory is well thought out. I mean, it's a a bit cliche. I mean, it, it plays out like basically the the pilot of any children's cartoon that involves someone with a special talent. Like, I mean, like when I when I first heard it like two days ago, the my the only thing that was playing through my head was the freaking pilot for Littlest Pet Shop. But um, still need to watch that. Yeah, it's a good show. It's surprisingly, yeah, it's a good show. And yeah, and you know it's it's I like the OC. I mean it's it's nothing spectacular, but it's not by far not a bad OC. I do not think that this OC sucks. Cool. No. Yeah, title placement. Good... Title, title placement. placement. I've invoked the title. So um, I think it's sort of the th a, a point that people have touched on that I feel that 
the uh, backstory of this character is definitely the strongest point. I really like how it looks aesthetically, and I think that it like fits into the idea of the character. But I I just really like the backstory and how it sort of allows for the double key, uh, the double talent key to mark to make sense. Um, I I I, I do kind of see where you're coming from with the whole deer thing, especially with the poof the, the like fuzzy chest. Yeah, like thing, the, the, the fuzzy chest, like the little foam That's... thing going on on the front, like that, like the thing that looks like the freaking top of a latte sticking out of her chest. Yeah, I, I mean, I do think that like so. I, mean, I think you brought up a good point that the eye color is not the best choice. I think that the rest of the colors fit pretty well. I think maybe just tone it down a little bit. Um, I'm not sure. You might have to do a little bit of tweaking. I like I like the yellow. I just think maybe it seems maybe a little, like it's a little bit too saturated or something. I don't know. And the main the main is good. See, I didn't even I didn't even realize the uh, gradient until it was mentioned uh, when we were recording last time. So it's done well, I think, because like having two like out there in your face of a gradient on your main is not a good idea because it doesn't look good. She is incredibly cute, and I like her, therefore, good OC. I like a lot. Moving on to the next OC. Roll the three, so that means Commander gets to go. I brought the uh, Songbird from Ali Flendor, a uh, friend of ours and fan of the show. Uh, Songbird, it has a, it's a little bit of a shorter uh, backstory, not quite as uh, intricate and stuff as the last one, but it, I'll just uh, go with what it is. Uh, so Songbird lives in Foliette. Uh, which is uh, based off the city of Joliet. And uh, she's sort of a clumsier pegasus, and her like she has a little bit of larger wings, so they don't really tuck in properly. So she ha- like has trouble sort of walking in certain tighter areas and stuff. I imagine she lives in a city with her, where there's a little bit of bigger crowd, so she's kind of like might accidentally hit people when she's walking by. And uh, she used to make her living by sort of sitting on this, like, like around the city, just making cash and because that's what people do in cities, I guess. Uh, and, but then one day, some uh, some man or stallion or whatever you want to call them was sort of walking around the streets and heard her singing, and they apparently turned out to be an agent for a uh, big uh, company or agency or whatever the fuck you want to call them. And uh, she uh, got, her, got some gigs and uh, now actually is making a living as a small-time singer and uh, is living in a house in Central Foliette. A little cliche, but I think it's pretty good. I am not the biggest fan of the the stylized look of it, personally. Um, mainly the uh, the asymmetrical style of the mane, I guess. Yeah, like it's the the braid is very very distracting. It really really bugs um, me. Yeah, like I mean, it's I really do like the the color. The color scheme, actually, in my opinion, is one of the most show accurate color schemes I've seen out of an OC. So I have to give props for that, because like it, you know, you know, you know, you never really see OCs that are extreme colors. It's always that nice pastel sort of approach. And I I like I do really like the color scheme, the eyes. It's um, yeah, it's I don't know. It's I'm not really feeling this OC personally. I don't really have much bad to say about it outside of like the braid and the fact that the kitty mark kind of scares me. It looks like a feathered whale, but um, <laughs> not much that stands out as spectacular about her. I mean, the backstory is okay. And, you know, the design that's really the biggest thing I'm liking about this is the color scheme. Honestly. Oh, yeah, it's a really good color Really good color yeah. scheme. Like, damn. Emerald eye, sweet. Um, try the try to do. I want to see what it would look like if the braid was also on the other side, like do a symmetrical thing. But the braid does distract a little bit from the flowiness yeah. of the other parts of the mane, and uh, that's kind of what this OC has going for it. Um, again, it's it's a good color scheme. I like things that are soft on the eyes. Like I can't stand when an OC gets up in your face with these like loud colors that just wreck my day, and I'm just like. Oh my god, stop it. But these are it's a very soft color scheme. Um it's kind of what ponies is about for me. Like seeing a color scheme will calm me, make me feel better cuz like soft colors, visual stuff. I don't know. I just I kind of want to see what it what it's like when her uh, mane is fully unbraided cuz I like flowy manes and I think that that would be really cool. Yeah, it's like I think that it Ooh, girl, sorry. I was just going to say I think that that could add a lot to the character. 
Uh, moving on to the next one. Looks like it's uh, nine, so that means it's Tarby's turn. Oh, God. All right. Well, so I actually... I actually picked uh, my OC for her potential, uh, not so much for the actual design itself, but because of the, you know, the back, the cleverness of it, and because, frankly, I think that it might not be the most spectacular thing now, but it just needs just a bit more, and it would be fantastic. So, um, this is High Pitch by Pichu24 off of DeviantArt, and the, it, her talent is... Uh, for lack of a better way to put it, she makes wind with her wings, and that wind makes music with wind chimes. Um, I don't know the specific science behind that, but, you know, that, that, that's pretty cool. I mean, we've seen shit like that before in the show with Twilight and the Reeds, so it's not like it's not possible in the universe, and it's you never really see OCs that do that kind of thing. So, that, on top of the design, um, I mean, just looking at it, it's... Though I'm not normally a big fan of multicolored ponies, this one actually relatively pulls it off. You know, she's a Pegasus. Um, she's got brown spots over her white body. Um, she actually has a braid that works. Um, and it's it's just a fairly well designed character. I mean, the cutie mark is kind of sketchy, but you know, it's it says in the description itself that the cutie mark is sort of in the works. Um, now. What I like also is the accessory. Um, around her neck is a set of wind chimes, which do it, it doesn't necessarily make music, but it's, you know, it, it's snazzy. It's a nice little accessory that is fitting for the character, and, and I have to appreciate that. Now, the, um, the backstory is kind of hit and miss, but as I said, definitely has lots of potential. Um, what it was is she was never really a Pegasus who could uh, fly well, quote-unquote, um, moving from Cloudsdale to Ponyville when she was a young filly. She, quote, tried flying once and only made wind. She began experimenting on what she could do with the wind and found her talent when she began making beautiful tunes from specifically arranged wind chimes. Um, which, which kind of implies that not only is it just the, you know, the wind power, but there's also a bit of science and forethought put into it, which I think is fascinating. Um... And from there, of course, you know, she puts on little concerts for people, begins making money and stuff, you know, basically busking from the sound of it. And though it's, though the backstory could use some work, it's, it's not a far-fetched one, it's not a bad one, it's just an underdeveloped one. And, and it even says it's in progress. Yeah, it, and it's like, I really do have to give this props. I mean, like, it's, the design is kind of snazzy, the talent is unique. Frankly, I haven't seen anything like this before, outside of, like, again, the reed thing. Um, so we've got this uh, necklace around her neck. I, I kind of like it as an accessory. It's like a trinket that shows what she does like. It's not for functionality, as stated before. It's just for aesthetics. It looks cool. She likes it. I mean, like, when you have something you like, you like to keep it around. It's, it's pretty cool. Um... Again, with the uh, braid coming here on the side, um, I can't quite see if the ear has brown going partway up it, or if that's supposed to be, like, the mane flowing around it. But um, the braid actually kind of works with the shorter flowing mane here, and that's kind of my opinion. And I know somebody's going to shoot it down, but I really don't care. And um, the braid does work with this little bit shorter mane that still has kind of the flowiness to it. Um, another thing... If you if you notice the tail, it looks a lot like the wind swoops, and I don't think that is a happy accident. I think this person actually tried to stylize something with the tail here a little bit to make it look like uh, something that's very important to them, making the wind with their wings to make the music. The thing is, the tail is a little scrawny. Um, I would like to see the tail a little fuller. You can keep it with like the same accents. If the tail was full, but if it had like one of those, uh, you know, wind waker puff of smoke style like tail like the little swirls coming out that would look really neat uh it would be theming so um I mean, yeah i mean for being a work in progress this is this pony holds a lot of potential for me um i i do like this one a lot yeah i must agree i really like her color palette the the white and the uses of browns the browns go well together and they both work not horribly with the white. I, I don't. Ich, white is just ich, ich. to me. I'm 
not a giant fan of white, but it seems to work well enough with brown these browns used. And that makes me smile. I know it seems kind of uh, hypocritical of me because my good OC had um, weird design patterns and stuff. Yeah, just about to say I'm, that. I'm not a big fan of weird design patterns and stuff. Uh, didn't bring it up on my OC. No, mm. no reason for that. But mm. it's yeah. Mm. That's how I stand on that. You... I guess nothing new there. So, so is that how you feel about our on this? Yes. OC? That's how I feel about that Front one, player. but that one seemed more cute somehow. Also, it was symmetrical for the it most part. Like this was... is asymmetrical, and that incredibly bugs me. Yeah. But that's just me, yeah. and a lot of think... other people who have that problem. Not everyone does. I think it's, it's fine. Cute. I, I almost like imagine that uh, it's, it's, uh, like she like, she, like like it's obviously not, but just it, it just makes me think of mud because. It's, the brown, <laughs> which makes me think she's just like it just makes the character more fun. She me, is actually. actually pure white, even her hair. Yeah, even her specifically her hair. What? We're making a joke. Okay. No, but I think it, I think it's cute. I really like the mane. I like the uh, I like both sides. And like Saren said, I I think that the uh, braid does work a little bit better here. So, oh, mm. it's cute. Well then, that's everything that everybody has to say about this one. Let's move on to the next one. Looks like a four, so the commander. That would here. be Tarby. No, uh, two is commander. Wait, no, four. Two, two is be you. you. Two is you. Two is me. Bones. Yes. Diggers. Sorry. Jesus Come on, I am man. the worst. Come on, Jesus Christ, Christ so, man. I am the worst. <laughs> so, ah, uh, the pie jokes. <laughs> the pony I brought this week. Is Toxic Star by Nasta the Cat. Um, this is actually a pony that was redesigned. It was originally called Toxic Aria. Um, there's a link in the description if you check out it on the DA page to take you to the original. And I think the uh, newer version is a little bit better just because the person has developed in their art style so it's able to be a little bit more uh, designed and fun, I guess. I don't know. It's not necessarily show style, but. Uh, let me run down the bio real quick. Uh, like I said, uh, name is Toxic Star. Uh, she's an Earth Pony. She's female. She's 17. She has no power right now. I guess I don't know what they mean by power, but it's only music talent, musical talent. Uh, info. She's a music lover. Her taste in music is wild. She loves to create music when she's bored. She's very friendly. She got different striped and colored stockings. She also has a cute uh, sorry, a cute floating pet that follows, that follows her and helps her, sorry, uh, helps her around, and gives her abilities when she, she got in something. Didn't add the pet yet. More will be added later. Um, and yet nothing has been added yet. So hopefully. Yeah, also, I just looked, that picture was made almost two years ago. Yeah. And they went back, they're like, oh, I need to make a new one. So they did. And they're like, here, take this newer one that came out, like, earlier in the day we first recorded. So I was like, good, good timing. And then it yeah. really didn't matter after that. So, either way, I really like this character. I mean, I like the use of accessories, what well, piercing and the earbud and the music player and the socks and whatnot, even though some people may not like socks. Uh. Um, I find that, like, the artist uses a lot of, like, really great techniques, how it's, like, even the uh, uh, more pale or you know, whiter colors are still reflecting the color around it, like ambient coloring on the main. I think that's a really cool technique. And I think, yeah, you know, pretty cute. I mean, the cutie mark is a little out there, but hey, whatever. I mean, it's kind of an out there character. I want, I want to know what the cutie mark means. I want to say that, like, her cutie mark is of her pet or something like that? I don't know. I want to... It makes me just think that it's, like, just a tattoo. Yeah, no, but, like, what if what, what if the cutie mark is the pet? What if her ass regularly talks to her? Uh, hey, you should go do this thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, um, anyway, personally, I really liked how they sort of kept a blank slate here, going with the white and this, like, gray... 
Um, because that left room for them. They sort of left the door open for themselves so they could come in with these neat accessories and have these different colors. Um, again, the blank slate thing, they bring in the colors. It kind of fits. Um, I would like to know what these things are. They're probably hooves, as we talked about last time. Or they could be shoes. I don't know. Um, we can't we can't see the back hooves, so I don't know if they're on both. Um, also, uh, I really like socks because socks are great. So yeah, Socks so uh, suck. so uh, you suck. so smooth and Tarby can just go like uh, I, I don't know die or something. We're, we'll, well, it's okay. Somebody's getting strangled by the end of this episode. The only problem I have is the eye. Like it looks like that kind of it's it looks like a blind dog's eye. It's that kind of glossed over or glassed over like glossy thing. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but the what eye. What if her ass tattoo sees for her? That would be edgy as fuck, and no. Um, so, the cutie mark, it's obviously not as minimalist as, like, an actual show-style cutie mark is. Your cutie mark doesn't have to be show-style. Um, I'm just saying it's, it is a little out there. We'll, we'll say that. But, I mean, if you like it as the creator, go ahead. Uh, who's to tell you what? But, um, speaking of having a really overcomplicated cutie mark, Commander, what do you have to say about this OC? Oh, what do I say? Uh, fuck you! The great oh, thing well, is, it's my turn. I turned my head and looked snarkily at your Skype icon while I said that. I want you to know that. Edgy as fuck. I, I, I want to know what love is. I want you to shut the fuck up, Bubble Pie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, but seriously, um, I'm not sure how I feel about the white. Because, because uh, in the original picture, it's just a, it looks like it's just a pure white, and this one, like Mollified had brought up, it sort of it does reflect the colors around it, and I, so it looks a lot better in this one. But I feel that it, if it maybe just had a little bit of a tint of that, it'd be better. Because I'm just not a big fan of pure white mains. It looks fine because of shading and other stuff like that, but I don't know. Um, I really like the blue that's like seems to be cons like throughout this piece and the character and stuff. I really like it, which is one reason why that second sock, that like magenta slash red gradiented sock, bugs me because I really like the blue turquoise or blue slash I don't know aqua aquamarine on the other sock. I think that that's fantastic and that fits with a lot of the other uh, colors and the accessories. But the other one just kind of bugs me. I don't know. And you're uh, your you're not partial to that color at all. Not partial to blue. Nope. No way. I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, hooves being all white as well. It doesn't look bad, so it's not, it's not, I've seen a lot worse things done on ponies, but I don't know. I mean, if you like that, then keep it on your OC, because it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right. well, I didn't notice that before. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. It's like, personally... I'm I'm just not feeling this OC. I mean, it's I I don't know. It's normally even the most extravagant OCs that I see can still in my mind be mentally traced back to My Little Pony. But I I just I don't see this, and the my first thought isn't like Twilight Sparkle or Ponyville or Canalot or something like that. It's you know what about it, Manhattan. No, not even. It's it's just like ooh, right. Metropolis. I swear to God, Saddle it's, Arabia. I swear to God, Las um, Pegasus. Now Moses is gonna get stabbed by Tar. What about you know? I'm I'm not even gonna finish that. I'm not even gonna finish. What, what about that. Screw Mummifiedville? I kind of like that place. I think I'm the mayor, actually. But like, it just like I don't know. I just as I said before, it's I I. I can't look at this OC. I don't look at this OC and think pony. I, I look at this OC and think, uh, like, it's not a badly, it's not badly drawn by any stretch. This is, like, so far, the best drawn OC that we've pulled out of the hat. It's, you know, it's, it's really, really well drawn, aside the fact that Toxic is misspelled in the picture, and it's been bothering me since this thing opened up. But it's, it's, I just, I don't know. I mean, on top of the fact that I have no idea what the fuck the talent that that cutie mark is could possibly mean, I um, really know. it's I have an issue with the socks, especially the mis miscolored socks. That's just a beef I have. Uh, it's just I don't know. There's just so much going on Everybody in this picture that's just not pony, I guess. 
if that mm. makes any sense. It's too far out there. Yeah, like? it's 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 too far removed from the source material for me to be able to associate it with the source material. And it's mm. as I said, not at all a badly drawn OC. It's just got a bit too much going on that doesn't have anything to do with OC stuff. And it's just... I don't, I don't know. It's... it's. I'm just not feeling it. That's what it boils down to. Insert pun here, transition. Moving on! To the next person. Awesome. Uh, Sorry. That means it, we're Sorry. left with Sorens. Oh, yes, I know. great. I'm not uh, so sure have them sometimes all open. Somified. I know this yeah. one. Yeah. So we've got an OC here by Scarlet Quinn on DeviantArt. I believe you should check her out. She's got some fucking awesome stuff with commissions going on. But anyway, I digress. Uh, Silver Sonata is her OC. And um, <clears throat> she's got a reference sheet here. It's really nice. Really well done. Um, uh, so she has her whole backstory here. She lives in Manhattan. She's a tea shop server. And uh, she... Uh, let's see here. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so her special talent is she creates music that can influence emotions. I really like this because she's tying it into something in real life. Um, I know as a musician myself and uh, any other music- musician here and listening can uh, also say for sure that music evokes emotion in people. That's one of the main things that it does. And I really like what they did here with this OC. I also like how this is an instrument pwn, because I was tired of seeing vocalists and electronic artists in the folder, so I went out and found my own. Um, I really like this OC's color pattern. It's kind of like this powdery, like really light, almost, well, not as light, but it's like a powder blue. It's a nice, nice color. It's very soft on the eyes. They sort of take this little toned down brown, gray-ish color, in the main, and it fits really well. Um, I also really like her eyes. They 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 work really well with everything else. Um, usually, I'm not a fan of dots, but the uh, the quote unquote the knee dots here they they look fine. It almost kind of reminds me of like little robin speckled robin's eggs, and it's kind of cute. And I'm, I mean, I like I like her main design. I like her design in general. This freaking crystal pony is beautiful. Oh my god, I want her to draw me as a crystal pony. The only complaint I have about this is that her cutie mark is a bit, um, it's a bit overdone. I mean, when I was thinking for a cutie mark for my pony, I was thinking of doing something with the clefts, but I mean, a lot of people do this, do stuff with the clefts. I mean, but then again, cliches exist for a reason, because they're good. So, the treble clef with the base clef here making the heart, it may be a little overdone, but hey, if you like it, that's for you. Go ahead. Um, so, other than that, um, oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, she uses the she uses her music in the tea shop to sort of change the emotions of people. I like this because I it seems like she runs this little safe haven where you can go when you're not feeling so good, and you just go there, enjoy some tea. Enjoy some music, feel better, whatever. I, I kind of like her little story here. I don't even want to say. Soren, I believe your uh, 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 description of that character was way too ooh long of a description. Really? Really? Um, Mummified Sucksville, population one, two, three, four, possibly Medi, and whoever's going to watch this episode. Oh, def- definitely Medi. Uh, definitely Medi. Go ahead, Medi. You were about to say something. Okay. Um, anyways, going off of what you were so- saying, um, uh, Soren, um, uh, about the whole cutie mark thing, I think that the cutie mark, honestly, like, I didn't really think about this for some stupid reason last time, but now, honestly, it makes so much sense because, you know, she cre- uses her magic, with or her magical music to influence emotions, so what are you going to do with the music stuff to, like, talk about emotions? Make a heart with the class. Makes so much oh, sense. Wow, and Honestly. even though we're re-recording, I look like a fool. Oh my god. Well, well none of us thought about that last yeah, time. Yeah, that, that's Wait, really the fact smart. that it looks like a heart? Yeah, emotion, that heart. I've seen that, emotion. I have personally seen that exact cutie mark. No, like, no, 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 not no, that. No, 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 no. What, what, what uh, her actual no, talent fact, is. She's oh, almost, yeah, she's almost fact, dual talent also. Because uh, she's yeah. music and making others happy. 
Yeah, no, she she's That's a, what actually works on. She's her. like a legit bard, which is really cool. Like, you know, this is the kind of like skills you see out of like a a D&D class. Personally, I really 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 like this OC. Um not only the color scheme which, you know, it's it's tame. Uh, it's it it is something that you see in the show and the outside of the cutie mark, which I love the fact that they've matched the color of the cutie mark with the magic and with all of the accessories, every single one consistently. It's, you know, the important things stand out while the rest of the pony is pleasant to look at. It's calming. It's serene, almost, is a good way of putting it. Um, the theming! Yeah, it's it's just nestling you in serene comfort. Anyway, so, um, the one thing I really am not a, the biggest fan of, but it's just a personal gripe, again, the dots, but this is probably the pony that's pulled it off the best out of every single dot pony I've seen. And there are a lot of dot ponies, because there's a lot of people who love the pony oh, creator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The pony creator. These aren't creator. pony creator dots. No, these are not pony. These, these are, like, knee freckles. No, they're really cute. Yeah, it's, it's, they're, they're, they're pa- I, can, I can almost overlook them. I, I won't, but I can almost. Um, I, and I want a set of my own. Enough for me. Hey, maybe if she got some socks to cover them. No, up. except not. Because <laughs> then, then you'd be wrong. And... <laughs> but... I totally no, it's, it's... And especially, personally, I... I I give it props and points for having the crystallized pony in there and the fact that she plays like a flute or a piccolo or whatever pony iteration of it is. It's so um, it's, it's a dickolo. Yeah. Please, please make more instrument pones. I do not see enough of them. I want to see more of them. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired of electronic artists and vocalists. I mean, I, if that's your actual really... talent, go ahead, but I really like uh. vocalists, but I'm not a big fan of electronic artists. I mm. I want I also want more instrument ponies. I I am sorry, Toby. What? Oh, I I I, I was going to make a joke, but I derailed it. So I unabashedly love DJ ponies. They're so great. There's so many of them, as is in real life. Well, I, w- I would just like to say that I, I really love the uh, stylization of the main and tail. The, uh, you were saying how you'd, it seems like a character you'd see in the show. I'm not sure how if you'd see a, a character with the, that gray hair in the show. However, it looks really good. I'm n- I am unabashedly going to say that it looks really good. I love this powder blue. This body. I tried to implement it in my OC. The colors on my OC took for fucking ever. I don't care if Smooth doesn't like them. I do... But I tried to use this beautiful blue. This blue is fucking... Something about it is really good, and I really like it. Um, I like how they did the pattern with the, t- with the uh, two-tone mane. In the tail here, you see it's not a continuing pattern. They break it off. They do an interesting pattern with the two colors. I really love it. The mane... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, that's all I got. 